Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where we take the imaginary to the extraordinary. Behind me is the little bug. Yeah, he's still kind of annoying, but maybe today we can actually send him to space. I've created two options to try to get him there. One is a drone-driven automatic system where, you know, he's just going to attach onto the front of it. But he's protected by these guns, so that's a plus. It's very basic, hydrogen powered, hydrogen driven. You can see I put a few lights on here, so if you're traveling at night, it is somewhat convenient. There's also a small connector that extends via piston, so you can easily reload your hydrogen or collect more ice in order to create hydrogen. Over here is our next model. This is essentially a carrier. It is manually operated, but the bug can sit on the back of it and ride all the way to space with us. It is also hydrogen powered with hydrogen thrusters. And in the front, we have a few Gatling cannons, just in case we run into any funny business. And it's fairly sleek design. Two large hydrogen thrusters in the back, along with another small connector connected to a piston, so you can easily, again, replenish your ice. All ready to go, huh? Okay, so I don't think it'll land automatically. I haven't set that up yet. So we may have to consider how to actually mount him to one of these vehicles. Let's see if we can get him to follow us over here. The bug isn't that intelligent. It kind of hovers in the wrong spots most of the time. But as soon as he gets to a clearing, we should be able to remote operate and make him land and turn off his auto AI controls. We just stop the following here. And then for reassurance, I toggle the block off. And then your AI flight move is going to also be turned off. These are our controls. So we have a connector control and a camera control. These will be very handy when we're actually attaching them to one of the vessels. Let's see. If we can maneuver by just using the camera, we get close enough and then potentially do a 180. And should line up fairly accurately to it. All we need to do is have the two connectors align. And their magnetic fields should pull it into the right position. Well, sort of. That's not really the right position at all. Let's try that again. See, I think it's over here. Or, you know, it comes to mind sometimes that I forget to turn the connectors back on. And that's probably our issue. Small connector here. And, of course, it is in the off position. Let's try this again. There we are. He snaps right into place. It's always important to follow those fine, small details, I suppose. As soon as he's connected, you see that his thrusters have turned off. And now we should be able to have him follow us. We'll get into the carrier here. But we're going to remote operate the other drone. I called it the bug booster. So I've hit the terminal here. We're just going to set it up the same way the bug was. So the bug's controls, it seems that they're still off. So we'll go to AI basic task and AI flight move and make sure both of those are on. Precision mode on. We don't need it to crash into anything. And I think that's about it. AI offense combat is off. With everything set up, all we need to do is hit this follow me here, and it should automatically follow us when we leave. If it doesn't, we're probably missing something. Oh, and I have to unlock the gear. If you don't unlock the gear, it won't do it for you. Oh, that's the wrong screen. I don't even think that's the right vehicle. Let's see here. Which one are we on? Remote access. And then we'll go to control the bug booster this time. All right, so we have the connector 
And then we have a camera. I guess I don't have the landing gear on this one. It's just on the carrier. So we should be good if we just hit the parking. But if I hit the parking, it detaches the bug. Which is kind of annoying. So we're just going to hit this landing gear, auto lock, and then unlock. Unfortunately, I didn't set up a button for this or anything to make it convenient. But as you can see, it's starting to follow us. If you have auto lock on, it would reattach itself to the base or wherever you're parked, and then it couldn't follow you again. Okay, so if we test this out, we're going to fly off with a bug carrier and see how far this drone will actually follow us. Hopefully it works, or may have to make a few adjustments for it to work. Hmm... Seems to be rotating with us, but it doesn't actually move anywhere. Let's see if we can reaccess it and see what's going on. Oh, again, I'm on the wrong screen. Bug booster screen. Let's see. Nope, nope, don't want that. Where's the remote at? I always forget to check the remote on these darn things. So remote control, it should be set to the main remote control. I think that's how I had it operating before. And then the other one needs to be turned off for the main remote control. Or you can simply set the basic task and flight controls to whichever one is their main control. In theory that is, because it doesn't seem to be moving yet. Hmm, maybe we do have to rearrange that where the bug is the one controlling it instead of the bug booster. So we'll go back to the bug booster and we'll just turn off the remote. And of course, make it so it's no longer your main remote control. I think... Or maybe we'll reset it. At this point, you may get lost in the process, but I promise you, with that rewind button, it's very easy to figure out. Main control, still on, and maybe if we just hit the control button by the main control checklist, it'll work. Nope, nothing. Well, this is a bit boggling. Oh, there it is. Maybe there was just a delay in the AI, and the AI just felt lazy today and didn't really want to do anything. Not really sure. Okay, so how far will it travel to space with us? This would make all the determining factor if our small bug will actually get there with its booster or not. And nothing. So either its maximum speed is way too slow and it can't keep up with us. Or it's just hanging around down there doing nothing. Better go backwards to see what's going on. Okay, so it's kind of making a weird fashion towards us, I think. But its speed is much slower. Let's see if we can crank it up a bit. Bug booster terminal, AI flight move, and down here, somewhere, we have a speed limit. We're going to crank that baby up. At first you might want to be modest, but then again, when you think about it, you're going to space, so you want to go fairly quick. Precision mode off, so that way it doesn't waste any time trying to catch up to us by maneuvering. And I think now it's following behind us. However, this is going to be a long trip if this is all we could do at one shot. And it's kind of wonky. It's not really going in a straight line with us. It just kind of bobbles back and forth. 
That is so interesting. You'd think it'd go in a straight line or something, but it definitely does not. Let's get farther away from it and see if it still does the same thing or not. Come on, where are you at? Come on. I tell you, this bug is kind of a pain. Of course, I think most bugs are. Here it comes again. It reminds me of a housefly just buzzing around you more than it does an actual spaceship. Alright, let's leave it in the dust. And we definitely left it in the dust because it's not even following anymore. What is going on with this thing? Alright, alright. It's just wandering around on its own. I think the artificial intelligence definitely gets confusing on this game. Not sure. But at least we have it. Otherwise we'd be doing everything manually. And there it goes again. Okay, I'm kind of done with this. I think we'll just figure out to either speed it up or slow it down. One of the two. Maybe speed it up first. Just go all out and see if it straightens out the process where it goes in a line with us. That's the greatest part about Space Engineers is being able to experiment and usually destroying a ship or two before you figure it out. Or getting very frustrated because this thing is powering itself straight up instead of actually with the rear thrusters. It's just going from the bottom up. And then it's kind of like uh, drunken sailors because it's all over the place. Okay, I think we have it fairly close to us. Kind of. Wait a minute. Where's the bug? There's not even a bug on here. What the heck? What have you been doing this whole time? Where is your passenger? I mean, it's a good thing we had the bug booster controlling everything, but that's kind of ridiculous. You just dropped your partner off on the ground. All right, we're going to have to go back for him. So I lowered the speed so it doesn't just crash into the ground when we get there. But that's that's a bit annoying. Now we got to go find this little guy and figure out what happened. Ah, here we go again. It's got to be somewhere around our base. I don't think it would have gone too far, but I'm not sure what happened. It doesn't have follow me on it, so it's not going to follow us. We're just going to have to find it. Luckily, this bug carrier is quite a bit faster and able to maneuver quite easily. So it shouldn't take us long. I think that's it over there, actually. So it dropped it off like 50 meters above the ground. And then just stopped. Yeah, I like how it's still staring into space like, man, I'd really like to go to space right now, but my ride left me. The worst taxi ever. See, that's why you don't want an AI-controlled taxi. Because sometimes you just won't get to your destination. Okay, let's, let's wrangle this thing back down. And I think instead of putting it on... The bug booster, we're just going to put it on the carrier. So, remote access. And, let's see, yeah, remote control. Make sure it's back on. Everything's good. Basic task off, basic move off. So, we should be able to move this thing if we link into it. Yep, there we go. If I use the camera, again, we're using the camera to basically maneuver right over our carrier. And once we get closer, I'll move over to it so we can line it up with the small connector. These small connectors are really handy. Because as soon as you get within a minimal range, it straightens your bug right out and it fits in the correct position. That should be pretty good. We'll probably be able to see it from over here. Alright. 
again just going to move it over here i am not sure where the bug booster is by the way it's got to be around here somewhere not too worried about it eventually it'll make its way back come on bug we got this nope wrong way there you go oh and down just slightly It's a little jolty here. It's a small confined space. I think it's lined up, so we'll just go ahead and hit this connector. And lock. Immediately when it locks, the event controller turns off your blades. It doesn't affect your actual bug carrier. Yeah, I don't see the bug booster anywhere. That is just one crazy ship, man. That's the carrier. The bug booster is still over 500 meters away. What is this thing doing? Uh, somewhere in the sky. Wait, wait. There it is. There it is. I think it's coming in hot. Or it's going somewhere else. I'm not really sure. This is definitely an issue, though. It not going a straight line to us it's just kind of hovering circle and slowly descending maybe it got confused maybe it's on vacation who knows there we are don't hit me don't hit me that was close okay okay just park yourself just 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 sit there for a minute i think we'll just uh, attach this thing to the ground after we have it stop following us. That's all we need is a big bug booster following us around and then waiting for it to get back. Let's see if I control it. Straighten it out here with the ice and then potentially lock it into position. There we are. All right. Without further ado, we're going to take this bug carrier all the way to space and see if we can make it there hopefully it the bug doesn't fall off the back i mean that, that is strange it disconnected from the bug booster poor guy was just left there all alone freezing surrounded by nothing but ice anyways enough with the dramatics let's get out of here now this part is fast forwarded it does take about 10 minutes to actually get to space with this thing. At least it's not a bad view. They did do a lot of graphics in this game. Made it through the atmosphere. Home stretch, boys. Home stretch. I'm sure the bug is excited for its first trip off the planet and into space. However, in space, definitely do not disconnect that small connector. If you do, your bug can't do anything because it all has atmospheric thrusters instead. So if it gets detached for some odd reason, you're kind of out in space by yourself because I'm not gonna wait around for it. I'm just gonna return to the base if that happens. I think we've reached the edge there doesn't seem to be any more gravity we're not accelerating anywhere and our thrusters even though I have the dampeners on are not changing so this is a good sign well we finally made it to space with our bug as always thanks for watching the video if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section otherwise Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it.